Look at that tail wagon. Look at that tail wagon. In labor and still wagging your tail. Well, I think someone is ready for these puppies to come out. What's up everyone? So Chevelle is expecting her first litter. We're super excited about it. Uh, yesterday was technically her due date. Normally we go about 60 to 62 days uh, after a successful tie and they'll be delivering. Cami has always been really good about that 60th or 61st day going into labor, but this is Chevelle's first time, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, today would technically be her 61st day. Uh, so uh, we took her temperature last night. She was just over, uh, right, right under, I'm sorry, 101 degrees. Um, as of this morning, she was just over 100 degrees. And then a few hours ago, she dropped down to uh, 99, right at 99. So uh, she's right in that area. We're gonna take her temp here in just a little bit. Um, usually once it's in that 98 to 99 range, it's a good sign that she's in active labor. Uh, she's already starting to nest pretty hard. We'll go down and take a look at her in just a second, but I uh, wanted to get this video kicked off and hopefully we'll be delivering some puppies later tonight. All right, so here's our baby girl. What's up, Chevelle? What's up, Mama? Are you starting to feel a little bit anxious? Are you starting to nest a little bit? So we went ahead and threw in her blanket. Um, that's been the blanket she's had in her kennel, so it's something she's familiar with. And we moved her from her kennel over there to this kennel. Um, this will be her whelping area. Um, if you haven't already, go ahead and go check out um, the video that I made on kind of how we set this up. I probably need to do a better one. Um, but basically we have this felt uh, outdoor carpet as an insulator between the concrete and the puppies. And then we have a tarp, and then we have another rug similar to this one. So it's rubber with the felt on top. And then we have um, a heat pad over here on this side. Um, and then on top of that, we have the easy whelp pad, and then we have her blanket. Now, once she does start delivering puppies, we will remove her blanket, just because we don't want the wrinkles <coughs> just because we don't want the wrinkles inside of uh, the whelping area. It's very hard for mama to determine between a wrinkle and a blanket and a puppy. And if you're not careful, she could accidentally suffocate one of those puppies. So we're going for zero losses. Our last litter, we were extremely successful. The litter before that, we unfortunately lost one. Uh, the other important thing to keep in mind are these pig rails. And I'll kind of explain that maybe later on in the delivery video. Those are extremely important as well. So puppies have a way to get out behind mama and crawl out around. Uh, if she goes to roll or lay down, they're not trapped. So that's another important piece. What's up, mama? What's up, mama? So the other thing is a good indicator that they're in active labor is um, they stop eating food. She has not been eating. Her appetite is not the same as it's been. So we know puppies are on their way. Like I said, super exciting. Uh, this is her first litter, so we see, we'll see how she does. Um, I'm not actually expecting any issues. I think she's gonna do great, aren't you? You're gonna do great. You're gonna do awesome. You're gonna do great. And uh, we'll keep you posted. So she's down, she's down. So Chevelle is now on the second day. So yesterday her temperature did drop, which means she's in the home stretch 24 hours and she's starting to have some, some low key contractions. So it'll be here in the next couple hours. She'll probably start pushing puppies, we're hoping. You can tell she's starting to get real restless and she is starting to nest with her blanket and get a little irritable. But she's still our Chevelle girl. You can kind of tell her her little abdomen is starting to tighten up when she's having a contraction. Oh, mama, I know. I just want it to be over, too. But she's doing awesome so far. Um, we've been watching her real close when we take her out. She's super clingy. She just wants to be rubbed and loved on and cuddled. What, who, you? You? Oh, I know, I know. So, um, 
shouldn't be too much longer, but we're going to try to try to capture some really good footage. Just go around. Calm down, it's okay. I'm just updating them. I'm just updating them. So that's where we're at. All right, so we have the first puppy showed up just a little bit ago. Um, my brother-in-law and sister-in-law came in from Montana with my mom. They're visiting right now. And uh, my brother offered to take a shift with me. And uh, I don't even think you got to your first shift, did you? <laughs> yeah, so I literally like laid down in bed and then he was knocking on the door saying, we have a puppy. So excited to finally get this process started. It's day six, well, technically it's day 64. It's past midnight, so um, ready, happy to get this process started. And hopefully the remaining, remaining, it's either five or six that are in there. We, we didn't get a definite answer. She was not a fan of the x-ray. So the vet said we have six or seven in there. So um, we're just gonna stay here through the night and make sure everything goes as smoothly as possible and make sure mama's okay. little male. He's got a lot of liver on him. We'll have to see what kind of ticking he does, but he's got uh, he's got a nice little liver patch on his back. And then he's got a hind leg, which reminds me of the feet, which is now Mac. Beautiful male. She did awesome. Alright, so we had the second puppy starting to get a little bit nervous because we were creeping up on two hour gap between uh, the first puppy and the second puppy but um, she was definitely having some some challenges with that second puppy coming out um, so I had to kind of help her out and uh, but she pushed it out so let's hope the rest of them come a little bit sooner I was starting to get a little bit nervous and I could tell she was starting to get a little bit tired so not out of the woods yet. We got four to five left in there. So just really hoping and praying that uh, the next few go by a lot smoother for her. But, uh, another boy. So second little boy. <laughs> just had the third puppy right after we had the second one so looks like the Lord is already starting answering our prayers uh, beautiful little female this is her so a lot more liver on this one she's got uh, man, a lot more liver just a beautiful little girl um, little, little tiny dot right here okay okay little sassy give her back to mama All right, so we are at number five. Uh, I didn't give an update for number four. Um, it's, it's been happening a lot more rapidly, kind of in pace like it should. So the count right now is three boys, two girls. Um, looks like we might actually get a um, liver and white patch and with, with limited to no ticking. So that's gonna be neat because that means it'll look like 
look like her daddy, but uh, we got a really dark one right here. Um, the, the last female, the fifth puppy that was born, she's got a lot of uh, dark ticking gonna come up underneath there, so interested to see how she turns out too. But good looking litter. Um, I've been having to assist quite a bit on, uh, on pushing. Um, she gets right up there and then she kind of gives up. I think she's tired, so I've been having to help her out quite a bit, but we got one to two more left in there, so it's not over, but uh, we've probably got another hour or so left, so we'll keep you posted. <clears throat> All right, so we just delivered the sixth puppy, another boy. That puts us at four boys, two girls. Um, what, what time is it? It is 5.33. This is him. Beautiful looking pup. <laughs> he's full. Yeah, he's of full energy. energy. Full energy, making some good healthy noises. Not no gurgling. You did good, Mama. You did good. Okay, so we were up to eight puppies. And uh, you know, the x-ray we were told we were gonna have six to seven, and the vet did say, um, it's a little bit up in the air because Chevelle was not a fan of the x-ray. So, to his benefit, or I'm sorry, to his credit, I'm very tired. Oh, I just had a chill. Um, it, it's kind of hard if the dog is moving around, but we actually have a ninth one that she's trying to push out right now. So, um, we did have a complication with the seventh puppy. Um, she was breached. And while we were trying to assist Chevelle, um, Chevelle was cleaning herself like she normally does and trying to pull things out and ended up nipping off the end of the puppy's foot. So we're a little concerned about that, if I'm being honest. Um, you know, the puppies use those back foot feet um, to basically move up into and uh, hold a position to be able to nurse. And so I just don't know if that's going to be able to heal. So I've got a couple concerns there. Um, we don't know what to do just yet with that. But like I said, we're at eight puppies. It's almost seven o'clock in the morning. Uh, so this has been a long night. I think I maybe got 30 minutes of sleep so far. But. Uh, Hey, this is what you signed up for. So, despite me being exhausted, I'm actually really excited. And me having more than what I thought I was going to have is actually not a problem. I don't mind that. Um, got some beautiful puppies. So, the count is now up to four boys and four girls. And then we'll see what the tiebreaker is going to be with this ninth one. Or if she's got any more in there. So, we'll see. Number nine has made his grand appearance, so the tiebreaker is boys win. Five boys, four girls. We were expecting six to seven. Um, keep in mind, Chevelle is not a fan of the um, x-ray. She does not like being on her back. So, um, can't blame that on, on the vet or anything like that. It is what it is. I believe we are done at nine. We're still gonna keep a very close eye on her. We actually have the litter separated. We have five. Um, the first five that were born in here, their bellies are fat, they latched on, they're doing great. So they're on the heat pad, Cut, got them covered up so they stay warm. And then I've got the last, or the second half, uh, the last four, um, basically uh, nursing right now. And then what we'll do is every couple hours, We'll swap them. So, um, very, very thankful that um, we didn't have any severe complications. We had the one with one puppy, but um, you know, we're just going to have to really take a lot of things into consideration and do what's best for mama and do what's best for the puppy. So, um, we'll see how that all turns out. But, beautiful litter. I don't think we had a runt. Would you say we had a runt? Yeah. They're all pretty pretty similar. The last male was probably the bigger puppy, yeah. uh, which I feel bad for. It was also for, breech. 
Yeah, and we had we had two puppies that were breached, and that was kind of the issue with that um, seventh puppy. She was breached, and her feet were the only two things sticking out with some of her um, Amy, um Why am I? I'm too tired with the sack basically and she was trying to clean that off and I think what happened is as she was doing it she accidentally nipped the tip of the toes off so um, you know it's something you just you can't anticipate uh, in that moment so I was able to help her get her out she seems to be doing good but we're really worried about that foot because the back foot she needs that foot to be able to you know basically leverage herself and position herself uh, for nursing and so I'm worried about it getting infected. I'm worried about her not being able to nurse properly. And because she's gonna be constantly trying to use it and position herself, I'm afraid that it's gonna just continue to be this open wound. So like I said, we've got a lot to consider. Um, but super thankful for this litter, super pumped. Nine puppies, Chevelle's first litter, nine puppies. Chase, you're an animal. Um, but really happy about it. Next steps are uh, I'm gonna go take a shower. I gotta do some things for work and then start cooking breakfast. I have a men's breakfast for our church here at my house today. So perfect timing. And then we have a gender reveal for me and my wife and the little one we're expecting. And then I have a birthday party. So it's gonna be a long day. Busy day. Busy day. If you haven't already, please do me a favor. Hit the subscribe button. Um, your support means a lot to us. Give this video a like. And then if you also would check us out on Facebook, if you haven't already, Instagram. Um, we try to post as regular, regularly as we can. Leave us a comment. Um, and don't be afraid to hit that notification bell. All right. Thank you.